the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines in the past few weeks, many may still be questioning the safety, side effects, and effectiveness of the vaccine. And here with answers to some of the most frequently asked questions is infectious disease expert with Memorial Hermann, Dr. Linda Yancey. Welcome to the show. Great to see you. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are staying warm. We are definitely. We're, we're carrying on one day at a time, right? We hope you're safe and warm as well. And I know a lot of people had a lot of questions regarding the vaccine effectiveness um, over the last couple of days with this cold snap. So the vaccine is still safe and effective for the majority of strains circulating in our area. Uh, the worry during cold snaps is that it is easier to spread respiratory viruses like COVID uh, during the cold. It chills our nose and sinuses, and that makes it easier for the virus to take hold and cause disease. And Dr. Yancey, because you are an expert in this field, you practice medicine, does it sort of drive you crazy when people are, instead of listening to science and medicine that, well, I heard this one thing on Facebook, I need to investigate that. Does it make you crazy that a lot of people out there are still afraid of getting vaccinated? Yeah, Google is not always our friend. <laughs> there is, there's a lot of misinformation out there, but there's also a lot of good information at websites like the CDC. Um, so we're going out and telling people as much as we can, you know, here are the facts. It's a safe, effective vaccine. Masks are safe and effective. It's just getting that messaging out to everybody. And I should mention, too, after you get the vaccine, uh, we shouldn't be walking around taking our masks off and thinking, I got the vaccine. Everything's good. What do we do after the vaccine? So after that first dose of the vaccine, you are not yet protected. It takes until at least a week after the second dose for that protection to kick in. So you are not bulletproof after that first dose. It's super important to wear your mask, to stay, stay socially distanced. And because we don't know if the vaccine prevents transmission yet, we're asking everybody to continue to mask until we figure that out. What about side effects? Because this is this is a question, a point that a lot of people are raising. What can people expect after receiving either of the vaccine doses? So these are very immunogenic vaccines, which is a good news, bad news situation. The good news is you're gonna get consistent high level protection with both of these vaccines. The bad news is your arm is gonna hurt and you're probably gonna run fevers for 72 hours after the vaccine. This sounds terribly mean to say, but that's a really good sign. That's a nice brisk immune response and you're gonna get high level protection and good uh, virus killing antibodies from that. And right now we're still in limited quantities. I mean, we're still dealing with the people who need this vaccine, who are getting it and getting an appointment are uh, those of certain age. And then depending on uh, if they're healthcare workers, is that right? Yes, that is correct. We're still limiting this to people over a certain age and with certain health conditions and frontline workers. Now, we expect that that is going to end soon. It's estimated that we'll be able to open up vaccine distribution to the general public sometime in April. I can't wait. I want everybody vaccinated yesterday. And I know that people are frustrated. Dr. Yancey, you just mentioned it is, uh, you know, we, we all want to be vaccinated uh, yesterday. Many of us do. How are we doing just nationally? Because I know that, uh, that President Biden, in the first 100 days of office, he said we were going to vaccinate 100 million people. That averages out to a million a day. We're actually a little bit ahead of that, right? Doing 1.7 per day? Yes, uh, everyone around the country is prioritizing this. Right now, 12% of the country has received at least one dose of the vaccine. 4% of the country is fully protected. We are aiming to get 50% of the country vaccinated by the summer and hopefully 90% of the country vaccinated uh, by the beginning of November. All right, Memorial Hermann infectious disease expert, Dr. Linda Yancey. Thanks so much for your time today. Oh, certainly. Thanks for chatting. Stay safe. Thanks, you too. And for accurate and up-to-date information related to Memorial Hermann's COVID-19 vaccine distribution process, you can visit memorialherman.org or call 713-222-2273.